any article that you write will have a certain vocabulary. It will have certain words and phrases and theme words or theme phrases in it which identify it to Google as an article on that particular topic. Um, what I'm going to do next is to check to see if my article on what is capsaicin has the words and phrases that Google would expect it to have if it was written by someone who knew this topic very well. And we've already collected the theme words and phrases. We did that in the first video and we used the theme phrases to help us decide what we were going to write the article on, although plans have changed as you know and we're now going to do several smaller articles. But I want to check to make sure that my article what is capsaicin has the correct theme words and phrases. Now, at the moment, we've got a lot of theme words that are not as relevant and even bits of words that um, need to be cleaned out. So, cap, ice, isin, um, somebody must have had a dash, cap, sire, and then a dash, sin, isin, um, ALS, sin. These, these aren't really that relevant. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the reports section and I'm going to type in what is cap, sire, sin, and... I'm going to let that run. Now what's happening is the tool is going to Google, it's going to download the top 10 pages and then it's going to compare my theme word list with the top 10 pages. It'll then come back with a report saying how many pages in the top 10 each of those words appeared on uh, and that way I can get rid of those that aren't that important because if a word has only appeared on one page or two pages or three pages then obviously it's not that important to this particular topic. I'm interested in those that appeared on five, six, seven or more of the top ten pages. And the report's finished. This is where I'm going to clean my results but I'll move that to one, to side, to one side for the moment. And this is the report. Um, and it basically does a little report for each of the top 10 pages and gives you theme scores and so on. But if we scroll to the bottom, this is where it gets interesting. We can see that the word capsaicin appeared on nine of the top 10 pages. It is possible that one of the top 10 pages wasn't available when the tool went to look at Google. So, it, uh, you know, and if it's not available, that page, then obviously that can't be factored into this. But um, I would have expected capsaicin to be on all 10 pages on an article, you know, for pages ranking for that term. But anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm having a quick look, right, I'm going to clean out all the words that don't appear on at least five of the top ten pages. And I've selected five in there, clicked on OK, and you can now see that those theme words have been deleted. So let me just close this. And we've still got 158 theme words. So the next thing to do is I'm going to have to go through and manually edit them. But it doesn't actually take that long, and I'll show you that now. I'll do them in real time. So if I just open this up, let me just scroll to the top, and I'm going to just start deleting those that I don't think are relevant. And you can see that it doesn't take as long as you might immediately think it would. Okay, so it just took a minute or two and then I can update my keyword list 
we're now down to 54 theme words. There's one or two there that I probably could get rid of. But I'll keep that list for now. So I've got 54 theme words and the next step for me to do is to run the theme report to check my article against those 54 theme words. And you can see here we've got counts of how many times those words appear on my page. So ingredient appears zero, temporary appears zero, treatment zero, capsaicin appears 13 times and so on. We've got a section there with the theme words that weren't found on my page and then we've got theme phrases as well. Theme phrases are less important because um, they're more to give us ideas of what we should be writing about. Um, if we have a few in there then that's great but I don't concentrate too much on theme phrases. I might try and get some in, I don't, we'll have to wait and see. But let's go down to the very bottom, the article summary. And we can see that my article is 495 words long. The total theme words in my article is 87 of which the 31 different theme words now I've used, out of my 54 theme words, I've used 57% of them. Uh, and there's one theme word every 5.7 article words. Um, theme phrases, I've used four different ones. I would probably like to get it up to six or seven, but again, it's not as vital as the theme words. If you think about it, the theme phrases are made up of theme words, and as long as you get your theme words in there, then the article is well themed. The score at the bottom here, I, I've done pretty well. I haven't tried to theme it, I've just written it from the research. And this is what you should find. If you write from really good research, you should find your article is pretty well themed to begin with. Um, the quality theme score takes into account these figures up here and how many theme words I've used out of my full collection of theme words and so on. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this missing um, words and phrases box. And I can close that one. Now, this tells me which ones are missing. I can go through these and try to insert them into my article. So let's just have a quick look. Okay, I found an opportunity here to get a couple of them in. Up at the top of my article, although most people probably don't know what capsaicin is, if you've eaten chili peppers, you've already been introduced to capsaicin. Well, I've got two words here that aren't in there. Spicy, let me just click on this. I'm going to double click it. And I'm going to say, if you've eaten um, Click Control V to paste that in. Spicy food. Then you have already been introduced to capsaicin because it's found in chili peppers, an ingredient of. I'm going to put Asian cuisine here. Um, I know that chilies are found in other, more than Asian cuisine. It's found in uh, a lot of different cuisines. But um, for the sake of not thinking of a better phrase to use there, I'm going to just use that for now. And I can also get rid of my ingredient there and have a look um, if I can get any more of these in here. I don't want to try and force it. If they don't fit naturally, then I can just leave it. But if I can get some in, then great. Okay, and there's another chance here. I'm going to use the word health in front of health research for a wide variety of diseases. And another one here, ice. Um, for those that find the heat a little too much, don't drink water or crunch ice. I can put the word relief in there, or crunch ice, as these won't offer relief. Okay, I'll leave it at that for the moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save it. I'm going to do another theme report, and then just check my score at the bottom here again. And that's 100%, 83.8%, so that's gone up a little bit. And we can now see that... I've used 36 different theme words, which is 66.7%. Let's just have a quick look at the phrases and see if health benefits of capsaicin, I should be able to get that one in. Let's have a look down where we talk about where it starts. Capsaicin has been the subject. Let's just put it in as a title. And then we've got 
that in there. Okay, I can get some of these in here, headaches and sinus. Heart disease. High blood pressure is um, the phrase rather than blood pressure, so we can just put that in. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm quite happy with that. I don't need to get a, a score of 100 and 100 because this isn't a science well, In fact, I've just checked now and I do have 100 and 100. That may be because I've added a new theme word in there. A theme phrase, sorry. But I'm quite happy with that. So my article is now ready to be uploaded to the website.